Welcome everybody, my name is Blake, or you can call me the Campaigner, and today I'm bringing you guys the next episode in my Road to Commander. Again, I apologize, the episode 12 should be, oh, hi, should be a little, uh, it should, it should be there soon. I don't know where it went, but I'll find it, and I'll make sure I upload it, I'll let you guys know exactly when I upload it when I do find it hopefully somewhere on my computer but uh, for this for this match I want to talk about something that was more close to home uh, I've been thinking about this a little bit about it's more of life decisions type stuff so if you guys aren't really interested in the the actual kinda like this is like my talk Tuesday type of stuff where I talk about something that's realistic so but I feel like this is important because it's come up quite a few times very recently and I wanted to mention it because I've been thinking about it and whatever I'm thinking about usually I want you guys to know about it if it's something that I feel it might be something that you guys could think about interpreting your own way so yeah basically my issue is I've been thinking of how does life change after you leave high school and as you may be familiar I am now attending a college institution and in college it seems very uh, it seems very slow paced at least to me my classes are very very simple the expectations for them aren't too extravagant and it's nothing that's too excessive, but it, at times there is just enough work to keep me busy and distracted from doing other things like this, like producing videos and whatnot. But it's goodness, college. Um, but the main point here is expectations more of socially, like the social differences that go from high school to college, because. In high school, it's it's very everything is social. I mean, I'm not talking about like social media or something like that. I'm talking about how much of like how many friends you have is a social thing. It's like it's there's more than just how many friends you have. It's who you have as friends. And the aspect that people don't seem to understand at a younger age, I did understand it because I was fortunate enough to have very wise parents in this aspect who, taught, who drove this into me at a young age. And I kind of had to realize it before, but it wasn't really as concrete and cemented into my mind until a little bit later in my life. That it's not what you know, it's who you know. So yes, school is important because it allows you opportunities in which to like meet new people and then to like connect with people in some way so for instance people in high school say why do I need to take geography class it's not going to be useful for what I want to do in my life I'm not going to use it in life same thing with algebra and stuff like that biology but it actually does because it allows you a way to connect with other people who actually do use those fields Geography, yes, you need to know because if you ever go on a road trip, you need to know kind of like how to read maps and stuff like that. Or, I mean, yeah, I guess you could use Siri, but what if you run out of, what if you run out of batteries? What if, you're, what if your car battery dies and you can't, can't use Siri or your in, in car navigation system? There are life skills that we should know, which we are learned kind of in a, in a weird way through school. And yeah, it's gonna sound like a really bad example, but it's it's one that's practical. So, and I can't believe this. How did I miss this guy? How did I miss him? Um, but yeah, that's that's one example of things that we take for granted the the aspects of our high school life, which we're like, okay, well, we think about it, it's all about working hard, getting into a good college. That's true. That's part of it. That's a huge part absolutely you want to go into the best college you can go to but the reason the reason you want to get into the best college you can 
you think is for education reasons. And yeah, that's partially it. But it's to go into the... You want to find the best status of that college. And what I mean by status is... What college has a recognizable... Say you want to be a doctor. For this for the rest of the video, uh, imagine you want to be a doctor. You want to go into a college that has a good doctorate program or medical program to get your doctorate so you can be an established doctor. If you go to a, a community college that has that does have a medical program, which I don't think I've ever heard of that being a thing, but it's gonna be it's gonna look better if you go into a more established college institution because when you're getting hired, they're like, oh, you went to uh, I'm just gonna pick American institutions. Oh, you went to Harvard? And this person went to some community college in the middle of Idaho, which we've never heard of before? Oh, okay, we'll take the person from Harvard. I mean, yeah, it's an extreme example, but you, you're selling yourself... The reason you go to those colleges is you're selling the name to your future employer. And you're like, hey, this is why I'm... This is why I'm going to this college, so that I can get the best education from this program, which is recognized in the outside world. So, the expectations for school, for high school, can I, how do I not kill him, please? Is that everything's very social, but, like, we think it's very social, like, okay, well, we want to make as many friends as we can so that we have as many connections. True. But you shouldn't spend all your time making connections only within people in high school. You should be making connections of people who aren't in high school who have that profession that you're looking at. And so, the kind of like that weird, like, how does life matter after college is based off the time that you spend and who you spend it with, how you spend it with them, outside of school is what matters after high school. And that's gonna sound long-winded, confusing, complex, and I'm trying to try to string it all together right now. So, if you want to be a doctor, go intern at a hospital. See how see how it's ran. Learn as much as you can about the institution in which you want to be working for. Stuff like that. So, when you have a when you have a group of people in your high school who are not the greatest group of people in terms of uh, being very polite and or respectful. If you can take the opportunity to still find a way to make connections with as many people as you can, even those people that you don't like, just know at some point in time they very well could be your boss and or you could be their boss. And don't don't limit yourself to being mean to somebody because of what they did a long time ago. Think about the future at a young age to understand that hey, they could be important later on in my life. I don't know. You can't limit your scope of who can who can have value to to you in life. So make as many friends and connections as you can because that is so so essential. I got a job because of who I knew in elementary school. I was uh, I was recognized as a very polite, respectable individual, very mature at a young age, and so I was offered a position to be a to be a teacher, uh, to be a tutor as well by some of the people by my teachers that I had, and so those kind of connections that I made in high school just by being a student with the teachers allowed me the opportunity to potentially get jobs for them later on so I mean stuff like that we gotta you gotta look at more than just what is in front of you in high school and when you get to college know that that's not where it ends you should be making connections in college too same thing that you were doing in high school make connections meet as many people as you can, meet all kinds of people, even if they're people who don't have similar ideas to you. Like, if you want to be a doctor and this person is a mechanic, make friends with them, because eventually, you're, if you have a car and it breaks down, you know someone who can help you out. 
So, very, very, very important that you make as many connections as you can, as quickly as you can, and establish them. Like, make them, promote them, flourish, let them flourish, work on it. Yeah. So, that's my little rant for the day. I hope you guys do enjoy. That was episode 13 or 14 or so in the Road to Commander. We have a great day, and I will see you guys later.